Well, today on Nation a Window Cleaners Podcast, we are going to be talking about the infamous dentist close. So if you are truly wanting to double your business this year, I'm going to tell you how to do that. It's an amazing tip. I'm going to go in depth so you can learn how it is, how it works, all that stuff. Anyway, if you're a window cleaner, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com and you are here. How's it going? Uh, if it's your first time here, have a look around. Uh, hopefully you enjoy the show. Hopefully you learn something from it, but we have years of content out there. So uh, if you haven't yet, go back and watch it. Literally six and a half years, something like that. It's nuts. Anywhere podcasts are found, of course, and on YouTube. And I am Jersey with windowcleaner.com. So I had a few people, I got to say, what's up to first off. I was actually on vacation the week before recording this. So if you tried to get through, you got an automated message. So uh, yeah, I left when on vacation. That is why I am weirdly tan and peeling. But anyway, side note there. Thank you guys, everybody who tried to put orders in through me anyway. Uh, first off, thank you to Kevin Farias. Uh, what's up, man? Uh, thank you to Nick Polici. I'm going to butcher that name. I'm sorry. And of course, Isaac Lopez, the man himself. Uh, just a few people that ordered from me and just wanted to say thank you. So if you guys don't know what the dentist clothes in is, I am going to go in depth. If you think you know what it is, I'm going to still go in depth and you're going to get something out of it. But t- trust me when I say, if there is one thing that you ever take away from me, that you try, and again, I'm a dummy who just sits in front of a camera and like talks to no one and hopes people watch. Uh, by the way, if you watch or listen, uh, even better. But I am going to change your business world. Now, if this is any service could do this, but we're talking window cleaning mainly. Window cleaning mainly. And I'm going to tell you, the dentist clothes is something that I came up with Name-wise, just to kind of wrap your head around it. I'm going to give you a quick synopsis. So with the dentist close, it is basically you getting repeat customers at the time of service. And it's to have the end goal is to have everybody you do service for repeat your service every six months, three months or six months. Now, before you say anything, the reason it's called the dentist, <clears throat> well, the dentist clothes is because when I started talking about that this needs to happen, this is years ago. When I changed my mindset to that idea, it literally changed my business. Changed my business. But when I talk to people about it, they go, oh man. I've had people literally tell me, I don't even, I don't call my customers. I don't send them anything. I mean, when they want to use me, they use me. That to me is like, that's terrible. It's not always about even growing business or being bigger. It doesn't matter. But if you're not following up with these people, why are you getting customers? Like if you're just looking for a one-time clean, you might as well be a door knocker. (laughs) See what I did there. Um, So you have to be keeping up with the existing customers. They already like you. They already trust you. You've already had your cost of acquisition. You make people happy. Everybody you've ever done service for, for the most part, has been extremely happy. Think about it. Every person that when you're done, they're like, oh my gosh, it looks so good. And you're like, oh yeah, it's definitely, right? Every single person is happy because we're a luxury business, meaning that it's not needed. So people treat themselves. And then when it gets done, they're like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. Little treat for me. When I talk about getting people to do it again, they're like, oh, that's too often. No, that's too, no, I just kind of like let them, I don't know, maybe average like one or twice a year. Who says that? Like who, who put it in your brain that a customer should be to you every year or two? You make people happy. They have people come and clean their house every week, every two weeks. They have people mow their lawn every week. They have people doing all those things regularly and then all of a sudden when you have a service like window cleaning there's a lot of us that just like yeah well maybe two years let me be the first to tell you 
You are the professional. When somebody asks, how often should I get it done? We recommend every six months. Could it be more? Yes, I do. We did people every uh, month, every four weeks, every three weeks. Lots of customers like that. Absolutely. You want to do that? Heck yeah. You could do it every week if you really just had the money and you wanted to treat yourself. That's awesome. Having clean, perfect windows all the time. That would be amazing. I'm totally for that. I'm sold. You have to be sold. So the dentist clothes, the name itself comes from that, that concept, right? So when you go to the dentist, when you're done at the dentist, you walk out and they give you their toothbrush you're going to probably not use or clean a sink with. They're going to give you floss you're definitely not going to use. And then also they're going to give you a little card that says your next appointment in six months. It's already booked. It's done. And you're like, thank you. And then you go, well, yeah. I have to go to the dentist every six months because that's what they tell you. It's dentist recommended. Understand the idea. By the way, dentists do great things. They're needed, right? But if you go to the dentist all the time and you haven't had a cavity in years, I haven't had a cavity in, I couldn't remember the last time, years, decades, decades. Do I really need to go to the dentist every six months? I do. Well, yeah, you got to get a cleaning. Yeah, I guess. You could get other stuff. There's other things you could do. But I don't have to go there, right? Who tells me I have to go to the dentist every six months? It's never been questioned. In your head, it's probably never been questioned. But the dentist tells you every six months for a cleaning. I've been going every six months for the past 20 years and not had one cavity. So why do I have to still go there? I don't know. It's dentist recommended. The idea and concept behind the name is exactly that. You're the window cleaner. The window cleaner recommends every six months. The concept there is no one has ever, again, this is window cleaning because it's like, I can't do it every six months because they're going to complain. They're going to say it's too much. And no one has ever gone, whoa, all right, hold your horses, Mr. Dentist. All you want is money from me. <laughs> Not every six months. I'll see you in two years, maybe. I'll call you when my teeth are dirty. <laughs> you laugh, but that's the concept. I'll call you when my teeth are dirty. I made myself laugh on that one. But that's what people do, right? That's the window cleaning thing. They're like, oh, well, I'll call you when my windows are dirty. That's not how that, this should ever work. So that's the concept of the dentist clothes. It's called that just so you can wrap your head around the idea that you are getting people to do it more often. Now, remember when you get a customer, it's the hardest thing you could do is get one customer. Because that one customer has to find you. They have to like you. They have to trust you. After all of that, they have to book with you. Once they book with you, they use you. When they're done, they love you. Now, they love you. You can sell them again. Like, hey, you want your windows clean? Remember me? Oh, yeah, man, you guys did great. Then it's easy. Cost of acquisition is the initial part. It's the hardest part. Once you have the customers, it's awesome. But what do people do? They get the customer and then they go, man, that was great. I better go find some more customers. Think about this before I go on. Just think about this one thing. If you think I'm an idiot, you could totally, you totally think I'm an idiot. I'm totally okay with that. Uh, but if you had every customer you've done work for last year, every customer did it every six months this year for the rest of humanity, the rest of the time until they move or die. If every customer you had, had it done every six months with you, what would your business look like? Really think about that. Because before I, and again, I didn't come up with a concept to have people use you more often, but just the like actual factual understanding. I had customers that'd be like every two years they'd call. They'd be like, oh yeah, it's Jane Smith, just want to read book. And I pull up and be like, I haven't been to your house in like two or three years. Oh, it's awesome you're back. The idea was why were they doing it that long? Well, they get, you get forgotten. Right? It's not in their brain until their windows get really bad and then all of a sudden you're there and all of a sudden you're working twice as hard because their windows are really bad and you're charging them the same as when you do it every six months. 
It's not the price that they care about. It's the clean windows. It's the end result. That concept, we're out there always chasing these new customers and not giving our existing customers the time they need, blew my mind when I actually figured that out in my head. Like, you know it's there. You know, there's a lot of stuff we know we should do, but until you actually factually, like, oh my gosh, I need to stop drinking. I need to stop doing drugs. I need to stop whatever. Until you understand that it's not going to happen. So that understanding is where we really start. Okay. Off my high horse. That's the understanding and concept behind the dentist clothes itself. But why does it work? It's The concept is easy. And I'm going to tell you exactly how to do it. I'll go more into depth in just a little bit. But all you're doing is when everything's said and done, you clean the windows, they look great. The people go, oh my gosh, I'll have some. the same thing they tell you every time. Oh, the windows look so good. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Oh, my plants are going to grow. Like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, I really appreciate it. You know, if you do see anything, uh, spot street should spots streaks or smears let me know we have 100 percent satisfaction guarantee we'll come back out touch those up uh you'll see it in the morning and night and uh, if you see anything in the next day or two just let me know uh and then for your next appointment did you want to do that in three months or did you want to do it in six months that's literally it with confidence that's it that's the entire thing and then they go oh um Let's do six months. Three months, maybe it's too often, right? But every six months, you get seasons, your main seasons, spring and fall, six months. Six months is very common when you ask that question. But why does it work? As soon as somebody says, like, great, did you want to do, still, we did this uh, on a Tuesday morning. Does that still work for you? A Tuesday morning actually pulls up would be the sixth. Does that work? They don't know what they're doing then. So they'll say, yeah, yeah, well, don't worry. We're going to call you the week before and just confirm so you know. Don't forget about us. If you need anything before that, let me know. Somebody exit your house. <laughs> but the concept is this. If I ask you a yes or no question, I am getting a yes or no answer. Do you like cheese? No one, when you ask that question, says red. In human conversation and talking is that you have two ears, one mouth, meaning you listen twice as much as you talk. Now, you know that's not true necessarily, especially if you're ever in uh, uh, Facebook or any of the other internet uh, things. But conversation works exactly that. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. You good. What'd you do? The conversation, when I say how are you, goes to good. People don't go, oh, man, well, I had diarrhea and I just... No, those are just general putting it out there because that's what I'm prompting. In conversation, that's how it goes. You listen and then respond. And then listen and then respond, right? When you ask a question that is not a yes or no, you ask two things. Instead of yes or no, which sublimity when I say, do you like red, there's two answers, yes or no. So your brain tells you yes or no, that's what he's asking me. Those are my two answers, which one? When I ask you, do you want it in three months or six months, your brain goes, the answer is three months or six months. You don't go, oh, did you want to do your next cleaning in three months or did you want to wait a full six months? That uh, gets you to uh, October 7th. Is it very, very uncommon for somebody to go, no, because it's not what we asked. They don't say red because that's not what we asked. So what we're doing is conveying our confidence in the decision, giving them a choice. So now they're making the choice, meaning anytime somebody makes a choice, it's always right because they are the ones that decided it. And they are never happier than they are at the moment you're done. Man, yes, of course I want to be happy again. If you call them in a week, they've had a week worth of stuff to make them happy. They forget less and 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 less about you. Having them book it right then and there, every six months, it's what you're recommending by asking the question that way. It does not prompt a yes or no. You don't just go, well, call me when you need me. We take control of our business and we get to make them happy again. 
They love the service. They're paying for a luxury. They're treating themselves. The confidence in the question is what it is. If we said, hey, we want to clean your windows for free, they go, oh, my gosh, that's crazy. Do you want it done every week? Oh, yeah, heck yeah. Don't get stuck up on, like, this idea that people are like, well, they don't. They, they shouldn't have it done that often. That would be too expensive. It's not too expensive if they want to have it done, if it makes them happy. If it makes them happy, cool. There's people out there buying $1,000 bottle of champagne, which I think tastes horrible, even in the $10 stuff. But $1,000, I'm like, this is great. I like cigars. I'm not buying a $100 cigar. I'm not going to do it. It's not worth that to me. But there are people out there who want to do that. They treat themselves. Understand the concept of it is, 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 this, is this is what we're doing. We're just utilizing the repeat customer. We're, we're taking these customers who love us and just helping them understand what we recommend without recommending. The dentist never says, and just so you know, we recommend you come every six months. The dentist doesn't, you don't leave and they go, well, call us when your teeth are dirty. Hopefully you remember our, we're your dentist next time and don't just call the dentist. There's so many things it takes. Your close rate on repeat work is 90, 95%. It is so seldom that somebody's like, oh, no, that's too often. And if they are, not a problem. I literally call them the next day. Well, the office will. I'm like, hey, just want to see how everything went. Oh, it looks great. Awesome. Hey, we saw you didn't schedule that next appointment. I just wanted to get you in the books. And uh, I didn't know if you were uh, still looking. It looks like uh, six months from now is the 7th of October. Does that still work for you? Or are you looking for maybe an afternoon appointment? Morning or afternoon? That was the question. Do you want to have a morning appointment or an afternoon appointment? I didn't say yes or no. Understand how you're asking these questions is how you're getting them. These guys that are doing, and I've, I've met eh, maybe one or two of these guys that have done dentist clothes and like, yeah, it just doesn't work in my area. That's because you suck at it. You just suck at it. There's no way that with your confidence in how you're asking that it doesn't translate to somebody. Now think about this. If it doubled, everybody who did it did it twice a year. Now all the new customers this year, everybody you get is going to do it twice a year. Your business is going to grow so stinking fast. You, right now, you're going, well, I don't know how to get customers. What about your existing customers? Well, I don't know. They just did it. If you want to find the cheat code of the game, this is it. All right, I'm going to dive right back into it, but shameless plug, I am a rep for windowcleaner.com. I do this, hopefully, to help you, but I also get paid by putting orders in. That's how I get credit for it. So I just want to generally, first off, say that there's so many of you that use me as your rep. It is amazing. It literally, it, it makes me just genuinely happy that so many of you let me put orders in. I mean, I know it's a little thing for you guys just to, you know, shoot me. Hey, my card's ready. But for me, it really, really means a lot. And uh, it, it's how I exist and make money and support my family and do all that stuff. So thank you. Thank you for that. And uh, just genuinely, if you want to be amazing, and I know you are, if you want to be a cool kid, because these are the cool kids, right? <laughs> Part of the cool kids club. Let me put your orders in. Um, my number direct is 862 312 two zero two six it's a cell phone uh text me like hey just tell me hi uh tell me your order is ready tell me what you want to order some people shop put it all in their cart and then click save this cart and then i just put go on it cost you nothing extra to do that by the way and it's a high five like it's like a, an awesome like you know hug of of greatness uh, and some people just text me like uh, Jersey, I need uh, two 12 packs of 18 inch uh, NRA rubber and uh, 240 towels. Cool. Is your address still 123 fixed? Yes. Cool. I get the, the, the address is saved. Your card is saved. I just verify. Hey, is this your address still? Yes. And it's done. It's that easy. You can be on a roof. You can be on a ladder. You can be in a truck. You can do anything. And it helps me out. So, genuinely, thank you. I took too much time on that anyway. Also, big, 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 big news if you're watching or listening right now, the American Window Cleaner Magazine. I'm so stinking excited. This is it's taking this huge, huge uh, uh, change, but we revamped the entire uh, look and feel of the magazine. Uh, absolutely new layout, people, um, and it is phenomenal. 
and uh, it's just getting better. The plan for uh, this year is, anyway, I'll get into that later, but the new magazine uh, is going to start, and if you want to get part of that, be a nerd like me, uh, go to awcmag.com, get a subscription. Uh, yes, I also own the magazine, so that is another shameless plug, but magazine's been around since 1986. It's the American Window Cleaner magazine. I only had it for a couple of years, but we're revamping it. It's a monthly paper magazine, for real, all about window cleaning, business, everything, articles, pictures, new products, and of course, stickers for all your stuff. Sent to your door, and it's 69 bucks. so go get that, awcmag.com. Uh, okay, gosh, that was too long. Sorry, back to it. So how do you do it wrong, right? So We've we've talked to people, you know, these people that are out there and go, ah, you know, my close rate's maybe 50%. How do you do it wrong? I'm going to tell you exactly how you're doing it wrong if you're not getting results. If you're scared to do it, you haven't really tried it yet, try it. It's it, You'd be surprised. But if you're doing it, you're like, yeah, it's just not really happening. A lot of you too are like, oh, you know, my, my employees are just not, not getting a lot of people because they're not doing it. But here's how you do it wrong. What I say and do always is confidence to you. If I go, um, did you want to get this done in three months or uh, like six months? Well, I'm not confident, which you're not confident. And you're like, wait, well, uh, I, don't, I don't. If you're not confident, it doesn't. It, it kills everything. Understand when somebody calls, they say, hey, uh, I am looking for uh, a uh, high flow. Pure water system, which one should I get? I'm looking for like a gallon a minute. The Zero Max, absolutely the best system that's out there. It has the best warranty, best components. My favorite system on the planet is Zero Max. It's uh, actually one of the lowest priced in that class also, but it is phenomenal. Oh, done. Let's do it. Like my confidence, because I know that's what I like. That is my absolute favorite system. If I know that, I can convey that message to you. If you say, hey, what's the what's best sales rep at WCR? It's me. It's Jersey. Absolutely. Hashtag one clip. Uh, but no, if you're confident about something, the confident goes, oh, this guy's absolutely confident. I'll tell you a funny story. So I have a place up in the mountains of Boone. Uh, that I go a lot. It's my, like, you know, I'm in the middle of the trees, you know, nothing around but but mountains. Love it. And uh, this happened uh, last year or something. Uh, up in the mountains, obviously mountains are created. There's plates. We get earthquakes. They're not like California earthquakes. They're little earthquakes. And uh, I actually was morning. I think I was drinking coffee or something. And I'm out in front of my place kind of right. And there's like this peak of this trees all around. I'm just standing there drinking my coffee. It's like 7 in the morning. And the whole valley just starts like just this deep rumble, you know, and I kind of feel it, you know, and I'm like, whoa, and echoes. Like when you hear this, like the stuff movie, you hear like this roar and it just floats through the valley. And you just hear it echoing as it's going off in the distance. And I messaged my buddy who's got a place right next to mine, I think in our walkie talkies or whatever. I'm like, dude, is this an earthquake? You feel that? And I was like, no, no, it was a train. I was like, ah, okay, okay. There's no train tracks anywhere around. There's no trains that run anywhere around there. We've never seen or heard a train, ever. And a train does not sound like that. But it was literally that night we were having a fire or whatever. I'm like, dude, there's no trains around here. He's like, oh, yeah, I don't know. We watched the things. He's like, yeah, it was an earthquake. It was like a 4.1 or whatever it was. I was like, why did you say it was a train, dude? I believe that. He goes, I don't know. I just assumed it was. I was like, you're so confident. I believe something that absolutely was impossible because of the confidence. I was like, oh, well, I'm not going to argue. He's so confident. That idea and concept is the exact same thing. If I can tell you with confidence something, it translates. The confidence there, like, oh, man, yeah. Who's your favorite football team? You'll tell me absolutely your favorite if you're in sports. Right? It's the same thing with this. It's the confidence that does it. If you're not confident, <clears throat> you don't get it. And if your close rates are low, you're not confident. And the reason you may not be confident is the reason I call this the dentist close. It's because you got to wrap your brain around it. I'm not, like, I'm not sure that every six months is really... Yes, absolutely. I'm sure every week is great. 
They're not going to maybe do that. Some people do. I'm, I've had houses. I've had, I have, this is when I had my company, but I had like two dozen houses I did every single month, every four weeks, actually. I had one house I did every three weeks It's because her husband was out of town every three weeks for business, and I would come in. So when he came back, it looked like she was doing something. All of that. What's so crazy is that you're the reason that you don't get past this. Like, who's, who's thinking six months is too much? You. When you ask them and you see every single person says yes, that means it's absolutely not too much. You're the one that held yourself back. And how many times in business you're, or we should say we, are the reason our businesses are held back is because our brains are telling us something isn't the way it should be. How many times? I mean, I get this all the time, but somebody's like, hey, man, I'm thinking about like doing $50 a day in advertising like during the busy season, but like, man, I don't know. It's kind of a lot. WCR, we spend, in the summer, $10,000 a day sometimes in ads. There's companies I know out there, their marketing budget's $100,000 for 2024. Window cleaning companies. You're like, what? Because it's an investment. They know that $100,000 is going to bring them a million dollars worth of new business. They know that. They're confident. They don't not hold themselves back. If you're thinking like, oh, man, I don't know if I should advertise. It's going to cost me 50 It's not going to cost you anything. If you spend $50 a day, but yet you get $10,000 in new work in that, that's not spending anything. You just got $10,000 worth of new work. So it's us that holds us back. And it's the same thing with this close. If you're not using it, it's your brain that's telling you you shouldn't. So the hardest thing to do is to get ourselves wrapped around it. And I can tell you, every single person that I've ever talked to that did this, even the ones that did it poorly, had repeat business. The guys that I know that are confident doing this, 100% of them, have 90, 95% of people going, yeah, yeah, definitely. Only the handful, couple, I'm talking three people ever in the past like five years of talking about it have been like, yeah, you know, like they get it every now. It's because they're doing it wrong. It's because they're not confident. They're the ones that are screwing it up. It is not the system. It's like saying, you know, if I, um, if I, you know, shave my face properly, I still have a beard. What? No. You're doing something wrong. It's black and white on when this works. But you have to wrap your brain around it. Because once you're confident, even if you're fake confident, we all were fake confident at one point because we all, all the people that are out there that, that hate guys like me that, that try to help new people and all oh, the new guys are ruining you and you're, you're the one telling them all the secrets. They're listening. The answers are all out there. I just babble in front of you. That's the part is that we were all new at one point. Everybody goes, well, you should work for somebody else first. Yeah, some of us did that, but most of us didn't. Most of us did not work for somebody else. So there was a point where somebody was like, oh, you clean windows? And you're like, you just started the company, you've never done it yet? Yeah. Oh, you want to do inside? Should we do inside? Yeah, definitely do inside. And out. Like, what we'll do? You faked it. You didn't know. You weren't confident. You're like, oh, my gosh, I got to figure this out. We all did that. So we all can do that. And until you're confident in this whole thing, it's like, well, this kind of seems weird. But you know what? I'm going to trust Jersey, this dumb guy from the internet who talks to himself every week. But I'm going to, I'm going to trust him and just see where this goes. Because you know what? The worst thing that could happen is I get a few extra jobs. That's the worst thing. That's the worst case scenario. Not one person ever would be mad at you. Not one person ever will be like, how dare you ask me if I would like to use your services again? Not one person. There's zero things holding you back. And second is, actually, if you did it at all, even if you were the worst person ever and you still were like, I don't know, do you want to do it six months? Somebody somewhere was like, sure. You just got another business. You just got, these people that are doing this thing regularly, they have their schedule filled already up until, you know, whenever. They're like, oh, I got to add two more trucks on because I'm already full up through like June. Like, already 4th of July is booked. It's because they're doing this. The rotation's there. Now, if you do every job six months, you still get, say, $100,000 worth of new work, which, again, I'm throwing numbers out just for even numbers. 
I know the same hundred thousand people, hundred thousand dollars is going to be doubled next year because I'm going to get two hundred thousand dollars worth of work. Or if it's fifty thousand, that's the hundred thousand and all that forever. I know that I need a truck to do that, and I know I I can plan now. The biggest killer in our industry is no frequency. It's the reason you guys know I hate door knocking. I hate it. It's not that's not for our industry just because there's some dummies on TikTok. What that is is that's good for roofs. It's good for solar. The reason is is because those are one and done. All you gotta do is make them say yes. Once they say yes, you do the roof and then you're gone. You're not roof lasts thirty years, not usually twenty years. We'll say you're not going back there every six months. Our industry is a repeat industry. The biggest companies have repeat work. The biggest companies have repeat work. It's now your chance to do that. Super simple. All right. There you go. By the way, I'm telling you, last thing, if you haven't done this or ever thought about doing this, do me one favor. Do this hardcore for real. Confident like you've never been confident. Do it for seven days. One week. Five days. A week. You know, what business week? Every customer you do, this is the end of the conversation every single time. And see what happens. And then, they're like, Jersey, you changed my business. Can you put my order in for me? <laughs> I know. But I did just genuinely. I mean, going back through all the uh, texts and stuff, you guys are just amazing. Let me put orders in. I know spring is going crazy. We're going nuts. Maybe not spring quite for you, but getting those uh, supplies ordered, systems like crazy. We are stocked up. Uh, we have, oh my gosh, seven, eight million dollars worth of inventory paid for sitting in a, our warehouse ready to be shipped. So I would love, love, love to be your rep and put your orders in. Literally, that's how I get paid. You pay nothing extra. I get credit for the sale and I can continue to buy hair gel. That's what everybody always says. Uh, my number directs 862-312-2026. And finally, I know I talk about the magazine all the time also. Uh, I'm truly in love with it, but this new rendering is so stinking awesome. The new direction of the magazine is its amazing. So I can't go too much into it, but please go get a subscription. I'm telling you, you're going to never look back from that. Uh, that is AWCMAG.com. AWC, the American Window Cleaner. MAG Magazine. Com. Get a subscription, 69 bucks. Do it because you're awesome. Uh, more importantly, do the dentist clothes because you want to be uh, phenomenal and you already are awesome. But more importantly, until next week, go out there and be epic.